You are now tuned in to another episode of Shots of Brown, baby. Man, I got a special guest tonight, man. I got Trip Max manager in the building, Christopher Lovejoy. What's going on, my brother? Yeah, they call me 600, man. Yeah, yeah, what's going on, bro? 600, what's going on, my man? Man, I'm just cooling, man. Uh, looking at some film. Trying to just send me some film of Crib Mac earlier. Uh, so I'm just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Doing our workout shit. Just watch this Heat game. Right, right. Who you who you got in this playoffs, man? Man, I'm a Laker fan. You know, I'm not really a basketball fan, but if I was a fan, I'd be a Laker fan. Right. We got that. We got our ass whipped by the uh <laughs> by the Denver. Right. So I don't want them to win. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go for the Heat. Okay. Okay. So let's get straight into it, man. I've been I've been familiar with you for a long time. Know what I'm saying? Since you know the whole you know Crip Mac going viral and you being with him and you know you okay. and, 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 and taking his shit to the next level. I've been I've been watching it. I've been I've been rocking with Crip Mac since. Know what I'm saying? He uh since he made it viral. Know what I'm saying? So I know you've been a you've been a, you've been a part of the mix, man. How how it been working with Crip Mac, man? Man, it's been cool, man. I've worked with him for about a little over a year now. You know, what about what about eight, nine months of that year? He was incarcerated. Right. But uh, you know what I'm saying? It's um head on a swivel, man, when I'm with him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. 24-7. I bet. I bet, I bet. So as the yeah. world knows, man, we 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 see you training Crip Mac for this uh this Bosco fight, as Crip Mac would call him Costco. We see you training him, man. You think you you, you think he you think he got it? Yeah, I think he got it. I think he got it. I mean, just on a just on a street level, street fight, on a street squabble, I think he got it. I mean, you know, uh, and then getting up in there in the boxing ring, actually sparring with him. He definitely got him with some gloves on. Okay. Uh, he just a bit he's just a bigger man. You know what I'm saying? He'll be able to use his weight, use his height. You know, he he aggressive. You know, he come forward straight down the pipe. You know, they got that little hood, hood, hood type of squabble to him. I right. think that'd be enough. That'd be enough to get Bosco out here. We gotta work on his winning a little bit. Okay. But it's already getting better. You know what I'm saying? It's been about a week, but it's went already getting better. You know what I'm saying? He'll be all right. I think he I think he'll smother him. I can't see Bosco stand toe to toe going blow for blow with him. Because that's what he's gonna make you. That's how I fight. I make you fight. You know, there ain't no skills, no jab contest. I'm gonna make you fight. And when right. you do that, that's how you see who got a chin and who got a heart. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what he's gonna do. He, 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 he too much for him. So I remember, man, um, you know, before Crip Mac had went to jail and all the, the whole situation went down with him, um, I remember you had actually got him signed to a to a to a label um involving his music, right? Right, right, right. Well, I didn't really get him signed to him. Uh he had a relationship with them already. Uh I had a relationship with them. He signed to him, and they kind of just merged us together, you know what I'm saying? Like okay. be the face of it, be the manager. You know what I'm saying? Do what y'all do. And that's kind of how it was. They so introduced how, me to Crip Mac. Okay, okay. So that oh, so they they made the introduction between you two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I reached out, but they made the connection. Right. So how do you feel? Because I, I see now since since Crip Mac been home, his music been sounding a lot better. So how do you feel about his 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 uh growth musically? Well, uh he you know what to do, talented man. I mean, even before when he first started doing it, I mean, he go in the studio, he write everything himself, he write his whole verse in, in a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? Lace that shit down, deliver that shit real quick. You know what I'm saying? A few times he have an engineer in there to help him. You know right. what I'm saying? Certain first lines, push it together. But nine right. times to do it by himself. So rise of right now, I mean, his name is buzzing, and he got some nice producers with him. You know, DJ Flip, a couple, uh, they want a couple people who've been in the industry for a while. And they're right. giving us some dope beats, you know what I'm saying? So we got some, not just a regular little phone, computer made beat. He getting the real beats, you know right. what I'm saying? Put it together, getting that shit, mix and master. That shit sound good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, it do, bro, it do. You know I'm what I'm saying? Cool. You got I'm a lot cool. of unreleased uh, shit. Like, I got a lot of shit in my phone, some bangers. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit go crazy. Right, I'm proud of Crip Mac, man. To see him uh, come from where he come from to where he is now, man, I think it's dope. And it's, he only going to elevate more and more, you know what I'm saying? As long as he... Uh, Keep the right yeah. people around them. Know what I'm saying? Right. That's the main thing. Right. 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 So you see, man, um, how me and you ended up connecting. You ended up commenting on my post <laughs> about me uh, interviewing Crip Max's dad, Stacy Brookshire. That ain't his dad, though. But yeah, I got you. <laughs> so what's the what's, what's the uh, 
how this whole thing come about with uh, Stacy Brookshire and the, the Crip Mac, the Crip Mac Dad thing? How that all come about? I really don't know. I really don't know how it came about. I know probably okay. like at least a year ago or whatever. Uh, dude kept mentioning me, adding me, sending me messages, you know, tagging me in his stories. Talking about he Crip Mac Daddy, he want to fight, blah 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 blah. I'm like, bro, this shit work like this, man. You got real boxing, you got celebrity type YouTuber, creator type influencer boxing, right? When right. you got influencers, you got to have influencers fight influencers. And nobody knew who dude was, so it wasn't no sense even entertaining him, fighting him, because he's just like anybody else. You got a million guys on the street that say, oh, man, he can't fight, let me fight him. But it's like, that's not going to sell, so we don't know who you are. So he's like a cloud chaser, man. You know what I'm saying? He's tagging everybody, talking about he Crip Mac Daddy. That's not Crip Mac Daddy. He never met Crip Mac before. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. He probably think he looked like him or something. Just trying to use Crip Mac name to get some notoriety, get somebody attention. Dude, just begging for attention. You know what I'm saying? Begging, begging for attention. Right. So... Uh, he's commenting on my posts, talking reckless, talking a whole bunch of shit. I guess somebody who knows of him recognized him and DM me like, hey, man, y'all know this dude's a rat, man. He told I got I got paperwork on him. You know what I'm saying? So I happen to see the message. They sent me to do paperwork. I read yeah. through it. I read through it. I said, damn, this nigga really told us somebody? So he's all in my messages. I haven't never accepted his message because I see him. I'm, like, I'm not about to respond to this guy. Right. So, I cut and paste the link, screenshot, and send it straight to him. I don't even say nothing else about it. He read it. Uh, he, so said, oh, man, he said, oh, man, that's old, man. Everybody know that. That's old. So what? What you going to do about it? So it's, respond. so it's 100 It's one hundred that he actually got paperwork on him out there surfacing. Yes. Okay, so you saw when I put on your page, I said, man, that ain't that ain't Crip Mac. That, that, dude, that, that dude is a rat. Y'all some clown. When I made that comment, you see what he wrote? Yeah, I seen what he wrote. I see what he, he replied. replied to. And he replied and said, So what? You a pussy. What you gonna do about it? He's not even denying it. He's not denying to you, and he didn't deny it to me. You know what I'm saying? So, but like I said, with all that being said, man, you know, with all this stuff going on and, and you know, the cloud chasing and people being tied to people like that, man, you know what I'm saying? I really don't want nothing to do with dude, man. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, I mean, even though it's snitches, you know what I'm saying, who doing legal business with people, but he ain't really got nothing to bring to the table to associate with to be a snitch and say, well, you know, dude, you know, some people might deal with snitches on business, not street shit, because, you know, it's money involved or stuff involved. Right. There's absolutely nothing to gain from dealing with him. You know what I'm saying? He's just a cloud chaser. I mean, he's going tagging everybody, looking for some attention, saying whatever he can to get a response. You know what I'm saying? So instead of me just saying, Bro, you nobody, bro. I'm just telling, bro, you're a rat. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? If, if you know me, anybody know me, I go hard on rats. I know I got people locked up, you know what I'm saying? People who snitched on them. So I go hard on rats. So I ain't got to tell him he's nobody. I ain't got to tell him you really ain't got nothing to bring to the table. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to tell you, you're a rat, bro. Like, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? You popping up, talking all this shit, but you's a rat. You talking shit like, like, like you a stand up dude. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, we can't even beat you up because you're gonna go tell. You know what I'm saying? So do you think if you if y'all was to run into him in the street, it'd be an issue, or do you think it, it's just all internet? I mean, it ain't no issue. I don't think it'd be no issue. I'm gonna just walk by him. Man, he ain't gonna say nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? His reputation though seem like he like that. You know, any nigga all on the internet doing that shit 24-7 ain't like ain't like that. And on top of that, you're a rat. So it's like, I'll walk right past him, man. You know, it's like like I don't know the dude. Let's right. do this contest, man. He's tagging everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know where he get this. I'm Crip Max Daddy from. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, like. Well, you know they. I, I, I guess it comes from you know they they re, they they do resemble a little bit. So mean, he probably he, he probably think okay, I look like him. I can tell people it's, I'm his daddy to get some attention. <laughs> that ain't his daddy. Crip Max Daddy Simone, man. Like that. Dude, I don't know, like that. Dude, that's crazy, man. You know, for you to act like you related to another grown man. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Right, right, right. But this is what we're dealing with, man. You know what I'm saying? The cloud chase dude ain't he obviously ain't got nothing going on. You know what I'm saying? And uh, but this is what we're dealing with, man. You know, on top of it, he's a rat, so you can't even really like talk too much shit to him. He might tell him he's proud of it. You know what I'm saying? He's not saying nothing about it. He's telling you, look at the comment, man. And and so what what you gonna do about it? This is what he's saying. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So I mean Philip, how do you feel about the whole uh about the whole um Crip Mac and, and Milk 7-4 situation. 
Well, I mean, they're from they from enemy hoods, so that's gonna be what it's gonna be. Uh, they talk a lot of shit to each other, uh, and milk. As far as what I see, you know, he's a he's a YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? He he, he makes content, makes money off of anybody. So, of course, you're gonna really make make content off his enemy. You know what I'm saying? Right. Especially right. getting getting views. Uh, I'm a realist, man. I call it spade a spade, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing against milk. I watch his videos sometimes. Dude, funny. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I was on some gangbang shit, yeah, he would be my enemy. But I ain't even on that time. You know what I'm saying? He didn't, he, he didn't say my name a few times, but I don't right. respond to that. I'm not trying to get no internet enemies. I ain't right. trying to get, I got real enemies out here, you know what I'm saying, who people really don't like me. If they see me, they're, they're trying to do something to me. So I'm not trying to create no more enemies. But no, nah, he funny. He a funny dude, man. Right. You know, I don't know. I don't really know too much about him. I just know that he's an internet dude. I guess he's from over there from the other side, whatever. Right. He makes videos, you know. Talking about people, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Well, we heard the unfortunate news, man, about um Lupe's parents' house burning down and everything, man. How how's she holding up? You know what? I, I don't really talk to Lupe every day. Uh, okay. I, I just know her through Crip Mac. Right. So I don't really know her personal business. I seen someone post that. I seen a few people post it. So uh, you know, hopefully, you know, whatever they're going through, they get fixed, you know what I'm saying? And uh they resolve it. I, I think they kind of got some donations going. Okay. But uh Cool though. She's also from, you know, saying a neighborhood near mine. That's one of our allies. If we was on some gangbang shit, so right. you know, she cool. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't talk to her every day to know what's going on with her. Like I talked to her, or like I called her, because Craig May didn't call me when he first got out. Even before he got out, he didn't call me for like a month. Right. First person I called was Lupe. You know, she got my number. I got her number. Like what up? Right. I, I got people calling for business. Uh, do Craig May want to do it or not? Right. And if you don't, fine. You know, I just I send them your way, send them some other way, but they keep calling me. And they right. keep DMing me. And uh she told me to make a call and uh I got in contact with him and I, and I talked to him. Right. Cause yeah. I wasn't about to be chasing him, man. You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't call me for whatever he was calling me for. I'm not about to be chasing nobody, man. <laughs> right. Right. You know, you know what I bring to the table, you know what I'm saying? Right. So before Crip Mac got locked up when you was with him, you know what uh you know, some some people on the internet were saying how how you was around Crip Mac, and you was trying to use him for you know the spotlight that he had. How how would you respond to those people? Man, I would never try to use him for no spotlight. If I was trying to use him for a spotlight, I'd be all over his Instagram. I'd be all over his YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I was only on his YouTube when he was in jail. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't I, I don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? I could be way way more fivemus <laughs> than I already am. If I want to go be with him and take pictures and, and like everybody else do. But I got my own shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So, so you know. Go, go ahead. You can finish. Well, like I said, people pe people say what they say. People paint their own picture, man. You know what I'm saying? It's internet. You know what I'm saying? I only really get on here and clear stuff up if I feel like I have to. You know what I'm saying? Because even though it's just internet shit, you know, the internet kind of like rules the world a little bit unless somebody come clear some shit up. So right. if it's not nothing that's really like bothering me or stopping my, my money or putting me in danger, I really don't really be tripping. You know what I'm saying? But I might come clear some of if it's like trying to try and tone my name or, you know, some shit like that. But just people just talking, I don't be tripping on that shit. I don't be reading the comments, none of that shit, man. Somebody sent me this shit about dude. Oh, man, that's that same motherfucker. He's still doing this shit, man. <laughs> uh, Somebody sent you, sent you my post about him? Yeah, I guess you added, he added like seven or eight people. He added some people. Right. So I'm like, man, let me comment on your page so you'll know. This dude's a rat, man. You know what I'm saying? Cloud right. chasing, cloud chasing rat type dude. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to get attention, man. Right. It, ain't nobody about to fight that dude. Like I say, even if he wasn't a rat, I got a million people hitting me up to my man, let me fight Crip Mac. Let's set a fight up. I'll put the money up, bro. Who are you? You know what I'm saying? You got to be a creator. You, you got to be an influencer. You got to sell. It's a thousand people who could beat me up. It's a thousand people who could beat him up. And really, an influencer don't want to fight nobody who could beat him up. They want to fight an influencer. Somebody like him who really just having fun. Not a real boxer. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's people who really, really train in boxing. Oh, I could beat him up, man. Set it up. That, how does that sound? Why, 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 why would we do that? That doesn't make no sense. Right. Not saying we pick in our battles, but we're trying to have entertainment. Entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I know Damon, the owner of Celebrity Boxing. He told me years ago, he said, yeah, this is just fun stuff, man. You know, we're not trying to have, you know, real boxers 
and right. real fight like that. We just, these people really can't fight. It's just some fun, funny shit, you know what I'm saying, with some gloves on. Now, Chris Mack can fight in the street. Not saying he's just a YouTuber, never fought before, but as far as boxing goes, you know, you're going to have big gloves on. He'd be at a disadvantage to, you know, a real boxer. So, you know, and then it's, it's, just, it's just having fun, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. But but once we get the deal locked in, you know what I'm saying, we're going to, as you see, we're going to train him, try to make him win the fight. Right, right. Of course. Cool. So. But a little bit, a little about you, man. So, uh, so what do you got going on? We we know you do the boxing training. What what else you got your hands into? Well, I'm a real boxer, man. I'm 21 and one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got a fight coming up July 6 in uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Okay, who so, you fight? Uh, it's like a two and a fight. Uh, I don't know if they even gave me a pony yet. Okay, gonna give, me, gonna give me a few more opponents. Give me like two, three more wins. Get to like 25 and one, and give me a big payday. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Go, go after go after some of the big dogs. Right. But uh, uh, like I said, I'm just helping out Crip Matt. You know what I'm saying? I'm a bodyguard. I I got a few people I work with. I sign NDAs with, so I can't really say say their name. But I got some big people I do bodyguard work for when they come out here in LA. Right. Uh, I got that going on. I got my boxing going on. Uh, I signed Compton TG. He's an artist out here in Southern California from Compton. Uh, he should be out like next year. He's in jail too. Uh, signed another boxer, DeAndre Savage. He in jail. He should be out in a couple weeks. A few weeks ago, I shot a video. I said, man, everybody I signed is in jail, man. Right, everybody locked up, ain't it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You know, I manage a few artists, man. I'm just a hustler, man. I do whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? I right. do security, bodyguard gigs, personal training. I'm a boxer. Whatever legit, man. You know what I'm saying? Because before I started boxing, I wasn't doing nothing legit. You know what I'm saying? It was all illegal. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. I walked away from that lifestyle, and I walked away from it with no bullet holes and no felonies. I'm able to get a, a licensed firearm in California, which is hard to do. And that was that's so a blessing. I and that's I a had blessing. gun charges before, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I got, you know, so I have my CCW real soon. Right. I got my exposed firearm permit, so I can do armed security right now. Right. Okay, that's dope. So how do how do you feel about the current state of hip hop coming from LA on the West Coast, man? How you how you how you feel about it? Uh, everybody kind of like separated trying to do their own thing you know and when you go to other places as far as the south and the midwest and east coast they seem like they're together you know what I'm saying when I say together I mean everybody got their own differences everybody got their own beefs everybody not together like that but when I say together I mean you got like big people on top putting certain people in, in, in position but now, don't get me wrong though you know you got guys out here here, here in the he on the West Coast, he in the Bay Area, and he puts grabs a lot of the Bay Area artists, and he grabs a lot of people from all over the world, actually. But right. as far as just the West Coast scene, we're not really, really heavy, heavy on the music scene like the South is. You know what I'm saying? Right. The South, the South got it; they've been having forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know when they gonna slow down. You know what I'm saying? They're really going up there. So like I said, but we got a few people out here. We, it's always talent out here. You know, our culture is unique. You know what I'm saying? Our culture really start this shit. You know, so our culture kind of like. You know, trinket all the way over the U.S., but she's like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm speaking on L.A. I'm speaking right. on L.A. Right. Now the Bay Area, they got a whole. They, we, it's the West Coast culture, but it's a different culture, and they more music. You know what I'm saying? They more like you know, got shit going on. Right. Uh, L.A. South Central L.A. Inglewood, Compton, Watts, all that shit. Like, it ain't too many artists that are really making it, making it to the top. Okay. Right. Now, I remember probably like maybe a few years ago. I don't know if you heard of Joe Moses. He's yeah, out here. And he said, uh, man, the West Coast people ain't really put money into and investing in the young artists out here like they are in the South. Right. And, you know, it takes money to kind of get you get you there. I agree and disagree. I agree because every artist is going to tell you, man, we need some help. You know what I'm saying? Because if I had my own money, I would have been in a situation. On, on another note, with the without the money, you can't deny good music. You know, so you can't deny charismatic artists, you know what I'm saying, who's gonna take off with or without the money. And that's really, really what it's about. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are so caught up in faking until they make it, they're not just being themselves and putting the music out and gravitating to the fans, let the money come. Because everybody think, oh man, if I got the car, if I got the jury, if I got the money, it's gonna attract this, attract this. And the music is just subpar. It's cool, yeah. You on, yeah. You 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 look like one of them rappers. You got the look, but the music ain't there. You know what I'm saying? Maybe your 
your background is not is not solid. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you ain't got the look. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you just targeting one, you know what I'm saying, demographic. You know what I'm saying? You more you want to grab everybody. You want to get the kids, you want to get the women. Like Tupac said it 20 years ago, man, rap for the bitches. Don't rap for the niggas. You know what I'm saying? The bitches gonna buy your shit and the niggas want what the bitches want. You know what right. I'm saying? So we we out here in LA, we still got our gang bang culture. Da, 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 hardcore, hardcore, which is cool. That's our culture. It's this sales, but you know, me, I'm just speaking me personally. If I was a mess with an artist, I want artists who get all the females and got the street cred. You know what I'm saying? Focusing on females with the street cred. Like 50 Cent came out, you know what I'm saying? He was in shape, you know what I'm saying? Making the songs about 21 questions, you know what I'm saying? And shit like that. Gravitating the business, and you talking some sense of street shit. So now you gravitating everybody. Right. Not just, you know, a nigga trying to rap for the females. Niggas like, oh, I don't hear about that shit. But then, you know, not a nigga just rapping, murder, 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 kill, 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 but it look like a piece of shit, and the bitches don't want to even look, talk talk to him. So right. I like to have the both, you know what I'm saying? That's the both world. But, but I don't know, that's just me, though. You know what I'm saying? Who knows what's really selling? Because I've got so much going on, I ain't focused on it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I know the drill shit is selling. You know, the murder, 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 kill, kill, kill. You know what I'm saying? I just killed the nigga yesterday. I'm going to kill a nigga tomorrow. I killed a nigga this morning. I'm, right. I'm about to post online with this. 50 round drum to go kill me and nigga shoot him in the face. You know, that shit's selling on the world. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody can catch a body. So, you know, I don't know, man. So how how you feel about this music space with, you know, the it, it, it coming out like more and more artists is coming out that, you know, they they snitching and they and paperwork coming out on these artists. Do you think snitching now is accepted? Do you think the streets is dead? And it's like, what, what, what's your take on that? No, nah, that's not accepted. It's a lot of it's a lot of selective politicking going on, uh, you know, and and the snitching is coming out to kind of like get rid of a lot of people because it's really saturated with a lot of people. So anytime you get any kind of dirt on somebody, you kind of can get them out the way. You kind of can have that, you know, what I'm saying, get them out the way with this. Oh man, this dude got robbed, man. He ain't gonna do nothing. He's a buster. He ain't really like that. He's lying in his rap. You kind of like move him out the way. Oh man, we just do told when he was twelve years old. He's a rat. Oh, he's in court. So yeah, everybody's trying to just down talk everybody so they can move up, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, but like I say, it's not tolerated because this rap shit still boils down to the streets, you know what I'm saying? Right. And yeah, because it, it just boils down to the streets. Unless you're just rapping for the bitches and you act like, man, I ain't on that street shit. I don't care about that shit, man. I don't need you straight niggas to buy my shit. No way. I got you know, other races. I got children, women listening to my music every day. I'm getting a billion streams. Fuck you niggas, you know what I'm saying? Right. But, I mean, it just show you that a lot of these rappers ain't really like that. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really ready for that type of lifestyle that they rapping about. So when they come across these situations, they've been kind of like getting into because the street niggas is letting them come around. They get into a situation that they would never did because they rap and they think they got niggas around them. Oh, I'm, I'm a real street nigga now. You know what I'm saying? And then when she at the fan, you tell them. Right. So, I don't know, man. Like I said, rapping, that's saying for everybody. The street shit not for everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? But this, it's like this too, right? Motherfuckers don't want to check in. Motherfuckers don't want to act like they want to pay their way. Well, if I was a rapper, and I'm not no street dude, I'm going to pay my way. You know what I'm saying? If I was a, a street a right rapper, and I'm not no, I have no street career, I'm going to just pay my way, man. I'm going to pay me some goons. I'm going to pay me some homies. I'm going to pay these niggas, act like I'm this, that, and the other. So I ain't got to worry about the bullshit. Then I'm not about to be hanging with these niggas and shooting people and putting in work and going to jail. No, I ain't ready for jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. There could be a lot of people on drugs, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm old school, bro. I'm a, I'm a whole different. I'm not like these young dudes. I've never been drunk in my life. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do no heavy drugs or nothing, bro. So my mind is clear. I'm on money. I work out. I'm healthy. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a good state of mind. You know what I'm saying? These niggas, is just, I don't know what they on, bro. You know, they spend their last money on drugs. You know what I'm saying? I, I, so I really can't relate. Right, right. And I'm not saying all of them is like that, but a lot of them is like that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are on drugs. Right. So ha let me ask you, have you, have you ever been around, have you ever been around an artist or, you know, seen an artist and was like, damn, he seemed like a real dude. But then when you met him in person, you're like, man, that nigga's a clown. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I met some people like that. Want to give some names? You gonna, you gonna keep it silent? Oh man, 
I'm going to keep it silent, man, because I'm like this, right? I ain't trying to get no clout off nobody. You know what I'm saying? Right. Dudes know who they are. Right. You know, and me saying, uh, let, me, let me think of somebody I never met before. Uh, I met Jay-Z. Okay, let's just say if P. Diddy was rapping about, you know, selling dope and killing people, and I said I met P. Diddy, that nigga's not like that. That nigga's a buster. It don't... It, it don't do nothing for me to be saying that, you know what I'm saying? If if he really like that. Right. I mean, cause obviously see, he got motherfuckers food. So I ain't mad at him. You know what I'm saying? He a hustler. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I heard Rick Ross was a was was a uh, a correctional officer and never sold no dope in his life. If that's true, salute. You know what I'm saying? Because you got motherfuckers believing you and you made a billion dollars out this shit. Nigga, I ain't mad at you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? So I'm not mad at him, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, if that's true. And I ain't got nothing to give Rich Rick Ross. I play his music all the time. I got his music all on my shit. And so if that even if that's true and he might take it the wrong way, salute, man. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? Because you got these niggas fooled. So uh yeah, man, like I'm at a point right now, shit, man. Whatever they gotta do, you know what I'm saying, to get out to get, get out these motherfucking streets. You know, so I'm not saying go turn your back on your family and, and your history and, and snitch on niggas and, and do foul shit, but shit, nigga, if you're a motherfucking police officer and you see motherfuckers rapping and you say, man, fuck this badge, I'm going to go rap like them. I could act and make a billion dollars and make motherfuckers believe me more than a nigga who was really selling dope and he getting indicted and robbed. Shit, nigga, salute, nigga. Right, you know right. What I mean? Shit. Let me, let me ask you this, man. We, we done seen a lot of artists, man. Over the you know past few years, um, come to LA and you know get gunned down, um, you know from um, P and B Rock to Quando Rondo's man, you know what I'm saying, and and, and, a, and a few yeah. others. You know what advice would you give these artists that come to LA? Um, what, what advice would you give them? Well, you gotta tap in. When I say tap in, not call and. Say, hey man, I'm, 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 I want to pay some money, but I'm saying tap into the streets and see what's going on out here. You know what I'm saying? See where to go and see where not to go. Whether you want to have, have you some goons with you from out here or have some armed security with you, but just tap in with somebody who knows somebody from out here and they'll tell you how to go and where to go and what not to do and where not to go. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like the everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm a street nigga. I know these streets get thirsty. So wherever I go, if I don't know nobody out there, I'm not going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Because I know how I get. If you come around here, you ain't from around here. We're going to eat your ass up. That's just how it is. It ain't really nothing personal. You know what I'm saying? It's like a nigga, you know what I'm saying, going into the ocean, going fishing, and he going to jump into the sharks. And the sharks eat, eat him up. And then they want to extinct the sharks and kill all the sharks in the area and, else and be mad at the sharks. That's what they do. Right. You was a fool for not hop for, for doing that. That don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? But rest in peace, anybody who got caught slipping, lost their life, and got robbed. You got to really know what you're getting into. And I'm really from the streets. So I know how this shit go. You know right. what I'm saying? And I done seen a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying, from niggas coming out here, you know what I'm saying, thinking they with the right people, and they all get robbed. Because, nigga, you not even like that. You know what I'm saying? To be bringing niggas over here, acting like you like that. So we rob all y'all. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then, you know, but I can spot them from a mile away. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm sure they can spot me from my way when I'm when I go somewhere. So I'm not out, I'm not when I go somewhere, I'm not out here, I'm not out wearing jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Acting like I'm this, acting like I'm that, going places, doing weird shit by myself. I know niggas is hungry, man, because I'm expecting niggas to be like me. Right. Now, now certain certain places, certain people, you get lucky, you know what I'm saying? Because certain people want to meet people from out of town. Some people want to network. But a lot of niggas is, is hungry. Niggas are on drugs. Right. Niggas is thirsty. Niggas ain't getting a fuck who you is. Niggas rob niggas who really joints. Niggas rob big time people. You know they're gonna rob you if you ain't from out here. You know, right. so niggas rob their homeboys. You know what I'm saying? Set them up. You know right. what I'm saying? Like killers. So right. we know we're gonna rob, rob you. That's just how it is. Anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, it just happened to be publicized in LA because people think LA sweet. But nigga, if you go to New York, nigga, if you go to Miami, nigga, Detroit, Memphis, Atlanta by yourself. Nigga with no gun, a bunch of urine, they gonna rob your ass too. Right. <laughs> it's just that niggas come to LA with the palm trees, niggas riding around in phantoms and Bentleys and shit like that, and they think that it's sweet. You know what I'm saying? We got our mind, our, our lines cut, it's nice areas, 
And then niggas going to Beverly Hills thinking it's sweet. Niggas is everywhere out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Know. Like you can't you can't just go to Beverly Hills and Malibu and think that oh, I can hop out and lounge out. Nah, nigga. You know right. what I'm saying? That's what I used to do back in the day. So even at this, I'm not even out time. I still see niggas like, damn, he slipped. I'm going to rob him. Right. You by yourself? Like, <laughs> give me all that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you lucky I ain't even on that time. But that's since I'm not on that time. I'm seeing it, but it's niggas who are. That's why you can look it up. Beverly Hills, Rodeo Drive. <laughs> niggas hopping out, robbing niggas, man. I'm saying, I'm saying that shit. Broad daylight. Broad daylight, right. Down another restaurant, niggas come and sit next to you with a pistol, take everything off. You don't give it up, they shoot you. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not even talking about the PNB Rock situation. He went to the middle of the hood. I'm right. talking about this shit's happening in Beverly Hills, Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't safe. Niggas is hungry out here, man. You know what I'm saying? So when I go to Miami and South Beach, I got niggas out there I tap in with. Even if I don't tap in with, I'm not even going nowhere near the hood. You know what I'm saying? Shit ain't right. sweet because I'm expecting them niggas to be like us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm a real nigga. Saying niggas feed off of you don't see your energy. I'm a street nigga, so I know how to move and act and all that shit, but niggas just ain't just, just, just hopping out like, like shit sweet nowhere, bro. Niggas is hungry, bro. I done been all, I done been everywhere. You know what I'm saying? All these cities is niggas grinding. Right. One so, last yeah. question, big dog. What you think? What you what what, what you think about Wack One Hundred? Okay, so let me tell you, Wack One Hundred. I did a lot of interviews, right? Then nobody never really asked me about Wack. So my big homie, Big U. That's how I met Wack fifteen years ago. Now, they fell out. However, they fell out, and um, you know what I'm saying. Whenever they fell out, it wasn't really like public. So when I met Wack, I knew Wack probably like going on probably 10 years now, probably 10, 11, 12 years now. We never really had no problem. So when that shit hit the fan, it was like, damn, the homie really, really serious with this shit. This shit is serious, you know what I'm saying? So as far as Wack go, and me, it's like, damn. I done been in a situation. Wack then called and fixed the situation for me. You know what I'm saying? To be exact, without speaking hypothetically, my situation was Don King. He called in, called them, just as a fact. I didn't even tell him to. I didn't even know he even knew them people, and he fixed the situation. Okay. So, so mind he, you. He a real one. Would you say he was a real one? To me, yeah. Okay. But he goes around and calls a lot of beefs. And I don't really, I'm not, so I stay out of all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I say, he beef with, you know what I'm saying, my big homie, which is like a father to me. He beef with a lot of people I know. So I just kind of just cease that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that, that's one situation. So I just, I just stay away because I can't intervene. You know what I'm saying? I can't intervene. And then he, he looked out for me, but he got so much enemies around that these people look at me like, why are you still fucking with him? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I look at it like this. At this day and age, man, I'm going to just stay out of everybody's business. Right. Stay out of y'all. Stay, stay out of everybody's business. I stay out of everybody's business, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a whole bunch of beefs I, I got and don't nobody step in to help me. I right. got a lot of beefs. And you know what I'm saying? So with that situation right there, I just let everybody do them on that. And if I got business for me, he'll call me. And if I got some business for him, I'll call him. And, right. and when I talk to him, I don't bring up nobody else's name. And when he called me, he don't bring up nobody else's name. We don't talk about no beef. And not like we talk every day. If there's something going on and it got me in it, he'll call, hey, hey what's up, what's up? Oh, no, what's up? Okay, cool. Or if I got something, hey, what? Hey, what do do? What do? Hey, what do? Okay, cool. That's it. As far as drama, no, nah, I don't do it. Stay out of it, right? I stay out of it, right? Hey, man, I appreciate you, man, for coming on the platform, man. You a real one, bro, because I just jumped in the DM like, man, let me get an interview, man. And you hit me back and said, I got you. Let's get it. They didn't ask for nothing. I respect that, yeah, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah, you, I, yeah, yeah I, I ain't tripping because at the end of the day, you know, shit, shit, shit need to be said, you know what I'm saying? And people want to charge for it. I ain't really tripping. I was doing my own little YouTube anyway. That's why I said get it, because I'm trying to get out of here and watch this game. But right. shit, I ain't tripping. 
You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. That's love, bro. You a real one, man. And we gonna we gonna uh, we gonna hopefully we. I mean, continue building this relationship, man, and put some more power power plays together, bro. I want to I want to eventually get Crip Mac on the show as well. Oh, we can get him on. Just let me know. You know, he gonna charge you. He gonna. You know, I, he already gotta... know, I already know he want Crip Mac <laughs> want uh, increments. I already know. I, 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 I know. get it for the lotto. I get it for the lotto. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna definitely um jump in your DM and holla at you, bro, for sure, for sure. Just let me know you're ready. Uh, what you want to do, like a Zoom with him? Yeah. Thirty minutes or something. Yeah. If I am mistaken, he might charge like three hundred dollars. I don't know. I gotta ask him. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna DM and we're gonna put it together. Because with this right here, I don't know if you're gonna make that much money, but with him, your shit gonna go crazy. <laughs> right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, I appreciate well, yeah, bro. it, bro. You are you you are, you a real stand up individual, man. It's good. Just hit me, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm about I'm about po positivity, man. You know what I'm saying? And growth. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Same shit here, man. Nice connecting with you, man. Give them, give these people your uh your, your Instagram where they can follow you. Uh, my Instagram is my name, my handle at Christopher Lovejoy. You know what I'm saying? I got a little YouTube channel. I got like three thousand subscribers. I'm kind of, I'm pretty consistent on YouTube, but I don't really like I said. I don't really touch on, you know, sensitive subjects. You know what I'm saying? People like to hear drama. You know what I'm saying and shit like that. So I don't really do. It. That's why I don't really go. I, I could be talking about all these rappers and all these motherfuckers. You should you ask me. I ain't really tripping, you know what I'm saying? I just put my shit out and whatever you get to get. I'm not trying to make a living off of it. Right. So yeah, I'm on YouTube. I'm on YouTube at Christopher Lovejoy. I'm on Instagram at Christopher Lovejoy, my real name. You can Google my shit. I ain't never told nobody, you know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, shit. I'm 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 pretty active on social media. You know what I'm saying? I read my comments, I respond to my comments, I check my DMs, I get to it, man. I ain't got nothing to hide. I'm out here. That's real shit. I appreciate you, bro. We're gonna tap in again, man. I'm gonna definitely reach out and, and we're gonna, I mean, do the one two. Let's get it. Much love and success to you, brother. Till next time. Appreciate it. Yes, sir.